Lissa. Yes. What's your favorite dessert? I like cheesecake. You like cheesecake. So does the dog. Honey, what's your favorite dessert? I like churros. Churros are good. But you know what's probably even better? If you make the churros and the cheesecake at one. And that's what we're doing today on today's Dad's Menu. We're going to make some churro cheesecake on the budget. Check it out. All right, no, no, sit down. And it says, it says with a spoon or something along the seam, pop it. Press spoon until, oh, I don't know. Lay it down flat. Wait, what? Let's yeah. be smarter than this. No, you put the spoon down and just press, apply pressure on it, on the seam. Oh, wait, here. Yeah, you put the spoon there. Wait, what? Like this? Yeah. Like this? Yeah, and press, press, and apply pressure. There you go. Victory. And that's how it's done. As with everything, appropriate PPEs should be worn and safety equipment should be had in the event that you're using heavy equipment. So what we're going to do is we're going to beat this uh, 8 ounces of cream cheese into a bloody pulp, or not a bloody pulp, a cheesy pulp, I don't know. And then we're going to mix in all this other stuff here, our sugar, our vanilla extract, our egg, and our can of condensed sweet or condensed milk. So here we go. As with most things when I'm baking, it doesn't exactly turn out the way I want. I think I'm at this spoon out some of this junk. In the meantime, we'll dump this in here. Why does anything I do not turn out right? <laughs> so we're gonna beat this till it's nice and smooth, and then we're gonna set it aside, and then we're gonna get our uh, crust ready to go. So let me fumble forward to success. We'll be back. Hey, if you like what we're doing here at Dad the Do, be sure to hit that subscribe button. And turn on the notification bell. And leave a like. And also leave a comment down in the section below in the event you have something you want to say or give us a recommendation on what you'd like to see us make next. So now what we're going to do is we're going to add the uh, sugar and cinnamon, and I threw a little bit of the five spice medley in here, into the prepared uh, basin. All right, so the idea here is we're supposed to spread this out all over the base, the bottom of the basin, and then we're gonna carefully lay out the dough on top of it, and then we're gonna put the filling on top of the dough, and then put the dough on top of the filling, and then put the remainder of the um, sugar and cinnamon medley, and then we're gonna bake it at 350 for about 30 minutes, and then we should call it good. We'll be back. So in my haste, pretty much everything has gone sideways on this recipe, so I apologize for that. However, we're going to have a good time doing this. So as you can see, uh, we got the bottom layer of our uh, crust stuff at the bottom, right? And then it's covered by the churro mix. Now Alyssa's going to ladle the actual cream cheese filling into the center. Because you don't want to put too much. And then if I need to, you go back and you put more. See, that's big brain in it. So I'm gonna go ahead and just dump, no. dump this junk in here. Okay. No. Okay. All right. And then we're gonna take what's left of the one can of um, croissant mix that we got, right? Carefully place it on top. Up. Oh, <laughs> All right. So, kind of not covering everything. Kind of is. I think I threw it in the wrong side, the wrong way. But it's <laughs> totally fine. Totally fine. We're gonna salvage this. We're gonna get something out of this. Promise. All right. So then here we're gonna take the rest of our uh, churro mix all across the top. Look at that. Doesn't that look like a churro? It looks like a churro. I hope it looks like a churro. <laughs> I hope it looks like a churro. All right, 
So this thing is ready for prime time, or it's close to what passes for prime time here. And we're gonna cook it at 350. We'll cook it at 350 for about 30 minutes, and then we're gonna have churro cheesecake. Check it out. It smells like churro, smells like churro, smells like churro. Ooh, look at that. Nice and kind of brown, cooked. Go ahead and set it over there. Oh boy. That looks like a churro cheesecake. Give it a smell, let's see what does it smell like. Smells like cheese, cinnamon, and sugar. So a churro cheesecake? Yeah. All right, I think we may have done it. Mission accomplished. All right, we'll let it cool and then we'll dig in. So while I do not have the plating technique that my good friend Zyra uh, has, I am very happy with how this came out. It's a little bit golden brown on one end and then more of a darker uh, brown on the other, but it smells like a churro. It has the texture of a churro, it looks like. All right, moment of truth time. How is it? Mmm, that's a really good. Yeah, does it taste like a churro? Mm -hmm. Does it taste like a cheesecake? Yeah. So is it cheesecake, churro cheesecake? Yeah, mission accomplished. Hooray. What do you think, honey? Really good. Thumbs up. All right, well, there you have it. Presentation is kind of marred now because they've dug into it. But make sure you follow the recipes and get all the ingredients so you don't have to like go with half measures. In any case, I've been Dad the Noob, you've been you, stay super awesome, and make sure you do click that like, subscribe, and leave a comment for us down below. Until next time, we'll catch you later. Bye-bye. Bye. Well, thanks again for watching. We really do appreciate your time and attention. Please give us a like, consider subscribing, and leave us a comment below if you'd like what we're doing or if you'd like to see us try something else. Until next time, good night, bon appetit, and bye-bye.